Good morning, everyone. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Well, today is floss tube, and it is my 93rd floss tube. I had to look and make sure I said that right. And it is October 12th, 2021, and it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning. You know, no matter what time I start in the morning, it always seems like I'm doing my floss tube about 10 o'clock it it takes me that long to get all this together you'd think that I would be smart enough because Monday I'm home early I could organize it all the night before but I'm just not that person I guess so what is everybody up to it has been kind of a weird week just strange we didn't have a whole lot of starts and we didn't do any reviews so yeah, but we stitched. Yeah, every day. Every day we stitched. And, yeah, this is my last week. So, yeah. See, it's it's just not... Some days I just didn't feel like stitching or I was too head up about something that I couldn't stitch. But, you know, if I would just remember that if I stitch, I get calmer. So... So today I am drinking Constant Comment tea, and it's like an orange spice tea, because today it's like 30, between 35 and 40-ish degrees out there. We are beginning to lose the mountains, which means that, yeah, it could snow today. That It may snow up there and not down here, but we'll see. You know, last week, you know, oh, doom is me. It's going to snow a big old storm on Tuesday. Here we are Tuesday. And there's like anywhere from a 10% to 35% chance it's going to snow. Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll see how this day transpires. Yeah. But I just needed something hot. So, let's get to the beginning. Now, I did write down, I have my cheat sheet, every place that I got these things. And I am planning on writing, because these must have been earlier ones, I'm going to write on each bag that it came in where it came from. Because, heaven knows, Laura will forget. So, let's get the book out of the way so we don't knock it on the ground. And just get started, because we got a few things to go over. So, this is the blue and green landscape. And once I got it, it's more, it's not this color at all. I'm trying to get it so it didn't shine. I don't know, it may turn out that way. I don't know. But it's got more pale blue-green colors. There are some darker colors but they're not towards the green tones if you will but I just love this <coughs> it is so pretty so yeah let me show y'all thread you want to see the stitching I know I know so it's a fairly good sized piece whoops there's my little thing I believe it's come on where is it 60 by 60. Yeah, it's a fair good size. So there's the little pretty picture sticker thing. Yeah, I'm going to frame them. So we just worked. So as you can see, it's around. So I just worked up here trying to come down on that part. I know, sorry for the threads. Just they're there. Kind of using a big piece of thread because there's a big area. So, yeah, that's all I've gotten done on that. I know, some of these will have more progress than others. Do I like them more than others? No, I just have lots of sparkly squirrels in my life. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And them squirrels, I swear, they're just rampant. I've got to put that picture back in there or we are just going to be messed up. And the one that I'm 
planning on having as a sister piece to it. Whoops. Grabbing everything. Sorry, crinkles abound. Okay. Is the pink landscape. And I love this. I just, mm, those flowers and getting all those colors. It's just, mm. And I'm not a pink person. I mean, I don't wear pink because it just makes me look like pasty pale. So, but that's my, I'm going to get rid of the crinkle. Sorry. Uh, my grandma, my grandmother. My granddaughter's um, signature color is pink. So this is what it really looks like. This is a bigger picture of it. Isn't that just, it just, I love it. It just looks like whipped cream or, uh, what do you call it, cotton candy, you know. It's just soft and, and just beautiful. And it is a 50 by 50. And as you can tell, I have been stitching on way more of this than anything else. I'm still trying to get this corner-ish done. But you can see how the pinks, this is all done right here. Except for, no, is it solid? There might be one or two little, you know, symbols left. But for the most part, I wanted to see what the pinks were going to look like. It's going to be gorgeous. Just going to be outstanding. Loving it. So, yeah. But I've got it all the way. Um, you know, like I, like I said, I use one thread. So, I'll just finish that thread. So, that's how this gets to be drooling down into the here. But, yeah, it'll be beautiful. I just love the greens against all that and all the pinks. It's just absolutely stunning. Okay, hang on. Got to put my picture back. Don't want to lose my little pictures because, you know, it might be the only thing that you ever get to see from that, right? Then we worked on that. Now, this is a crappy picture. You have seen the best picture. This, I don't know. I don't know how big it is. But this is my purple and blue mandala. It is. It's gorgeous. And the colors. Just look at those colors. Can't you just eat those colors? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So it just drives me on to see how it's going to look. So the other day I did a video, you know, for a half an hour, whatever it was. And then I decided I would work on some more of it. So you can see here. You're not going to be able to see too well, but I'll get it as close as I can. But the colors are coming together. What are you doing over there? Will you get down? She wants my... I have a fleece jacket that I wear around the house. It's just real lightweight. But it keeps me warm. It's just something on. She's squirreling it around to make a little bed for herself. Because she likes the way it feels. She has a nice soft frozen blanket, okay? What can I say? Anyway, back to this. So I finished that corner, and there, like I said, there's like nine different symbols. So I have to keep changing thread. So I keep cutting a piece of thread about this big, doing those symbols, and, you know, as far as the thread will go, so I don't have to waste it. Yeah, it's a piece of work. So I worked on this for probably two or three hours, and that's all I got done. You know, I just kept getting the small pieces of thread and doing so many yeah you can see it's just like confetti hell but it's going to be beautiful in the end so it's just something that I work on you know a little bit at a time because I can only take that that changing of the the threads so long yeah nope so, another thing, I'm trying to get everybody detached here, that I worked on this week, and my friend Jill in the UK is working on as well, is this one, the Blue Porcelain View. Oh, you can get this, people, get it. it it's, it's five colors. It's a, I'm sorry, it's six colors. And there's not that much stitching. There's just a lot of back stitching. 
I heard somebody slam a door, but it sounded like they were in front of me. But there's nobody out there. They're, like, next door. But, yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. And these are the colors. So, see, six colors. Yeah, and I don't think it was that expensive. Maybe ten, twelve dollars. I don't know. Um, and I'm not telling you where any of these came from. The uh, so, And I went to the big deal that, okay, the blue porcelain is from The Biggest Craft. The mandala is from The Biggest Craft. Um, the pink landscape was from The Biggest Craft. Oh, and I forgot to get another one out. Hang on. And the blue-green landscape is from New Craft Day. So, yeah. You know, really inexpensive kits. They're not that big. This one is 40 by 40. But there, you don't have to do the, the background. You just do all the other colored parts. So the background will be completely white like it is in this picture. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love, love, love it. Jill's going to finish it before me, I'm, I'm sure. I am just totally convinced because, yeah, I'm that girl. I start all the things. And speaking of starting, we had one start this week. And I got this one from... Oh, crap. Did I not write it down? Dagnabbit. Oh, yes, I did. Easy, easy craft art is where I got this. This is my... It's like Phoenix. It says Phoenix and Peony, but I'm not getting it. it. It's just... It looks more like a lotus that would float in water. But, yeah. Look at the freaking colors on that. And it's by this classical... I have three... Now I probably have about ten of these... The classical cross-stitch kits. They're wonderful. They're right up there with Joy Sunday. They're, the threads are beautiful, soft, gorgeous. Yeah. So we started it this week. And this one is another one. It's going to have all that black you see is black. 310. So that being said, I'm trying to figure out where it started. Um... You know, all your color is what you stitch. This is 60 by 60. I'm sure of it. Let me look. Yep, it's a 60 by 60. But, you know, you could go through and do all the colors. And if you didn't want to do the background, nobody, there is no stitchy police. Mm -mm. No, if you didn't want to do that black, you just don't do it. You know, but I'm working on the, the tail feathers of the phoenix. So I worked a little more on it. So, yeah, I like it. And I thought I'd just work on the background. You know, if it... If I can... Good Lord, it's huge. Hold it, we're about to lose the needle. And another one that I had a great big needle with. Long thread, I mean. If you wanted to, and you wanted to do the back, just... Finish like this part, do all the black in that area, and come down and do that area. You know, just do it section by section, work on the color, work on the black, work on the color. That way you don't have all that black to do, but there are there is a lot of black. Just saying, for a friend. But I like it. I think it's beautiful. And it's the same company that makes this made the one that is the Phoenix that I have. That's so colorful and not black. Love that too. Yeah. You know, I should have somebody come in, take all my projects away from me, and give me one project. When you finish that one, you get another one. When you finish that one, you get another one. Things are getting complicated around here. And I don't know where that blue came from. I think it came from the Phoenix, but I'm not real sure. So sorry. Ah, coffee. Not coffee. Tea today, tea. When I get chilled, I want tea. Mm. Constant comment. Constant comment has been in my life since. God. 
70s. See, I didn't start liking tea. My sister, when she was like two and three years old, she was stealing my mother's white tea. And she would just guzzle it down. And I didn't get on to tea until I was maybe in high school. But then we found constant comment, probably when I was early high school, maybe freshman, sophomore year. You know, I found out tea, oh, you can have it hot. Well, because I really wasn't real keen on having it cold. So, yeah, oh, yeah. So, constant comments, what we started with, and we had it at Christmas and stuff like that. Speeding right along. See, did you see that sparkly swirl? It just, you went right through. Hi. <laughs> God. Okay. So, the next thing I'm working on is out of the Winds of Autumn book. And it's called Harvest, nope, Waiting for the Harvest. And they did theirs all in dark colors. You know, I understand the whole Halloween theme and browns and not this girl. So, I'm working on the tablecloth, which I should probably cut all this excess fabric away. But I just wanted to see how it's going to stitch. And I'm using sulky threads about, I think there's, well, I have, what I did is I took a picture of the pattern. And then I went and I wrote on the pattern that I'm going to use a certain color for this, a certain color for this, and this, and this. And then maybe this is the same as that on the bottom, and then the birds are different. So I went and kind of charted my colors and picked colors that I thought were autumn -y. So, yeah. So I'm about three quarters almost of the way on this second pumpkin. So, yeah, it's coming along. I think it's going to be beautiful. But I'm glad I did it in sulkies because... I'm not about the dark side-ish of things. I don't... Because when I look at this, I see color. It It's just... It, that's the way it reads me in my brain. I have to sort... I have a hard time doing the monochromatic ones, the single color ones. Because... Yeah. I can see that the flower should be pink or blue or yellow and then... The, the leaves should be some kind of green, and I have to focus on what I'm doing and why it is in monochromatic. Does that make sense? It's very hard for me. So, yeah. I have another one, if I can get a hold of it, that I worked on this week, and I don't necessarily have a picture right here, is my great big, huge... It's the second spring one that I got. This is the one with the garden and all the people out here. I think it's called Harvest or something to that effect. Or Seasonal. I think it's called Seasonal. I can't remember. But yeah, it's beautiful. And God, please don't ask me where I got it. Wait a minute. Cheat, cheat. Spring, spring. Was from Easy Craft Art. I think it's when I got the first time from them. Yeah. So, we're just down here, and I still have to take out all that color. Yeah, that was a dysfunctional video. So, another day, we'll just deal with that, okay? Now, let's see. And the thing that I worked on most this week, like, occupied my time. I know. Me, one project... You know, like, after the videos, I usually have, I work on four or five different things. Well, not this week. This week, I've been working on With the Needle 2 by Lila's Studio. It is going to be gorgeous. And I started, I had to figure out which side I'm on. So I started on this side at the bottom, and I'm coming up. And I have two more flowers. I'm trying not to get it to glare. Um... Two more flowers to do here, and I will be up that little, we'll call it a border, for lack of what it is. And then I'll have to go back, but I really wanted to get to this part. This is the driving force. I want to start that way. And it's fairly huge. I don't know if I have the, the page. It has... 
like 100 colors to it. No, I don't know. Close to 30, I'm sure. Um, on 28 count, it will be 30 inches, 30 and 3 8 inches this way, and 13 and a quarter inches up and down. It'll be beautiful. And it'll probably require, I may hang it like a tapestry, but, you know, hell, we haven't finished. Let's not decide where and how it's going to be hung. Because, no. So you'd probably like to see it. And I'm using all the, well, here's the deal. It calls for this many of the classic color works. So I went to 123 Stitch and it showed me what the DMC color was that would convert. Okay? And then it has that many DMCs. Now, once I got through all of those colors and trying to convert them, there were about, we'll call it five colors maybe, that did not have a DMC um, conversion for it. So... I had to get those five classic color works. So, yeah. I saw this on Fiber Fiber Talk on Wednesday night. They uh, Gary Parr was at the attic. And Jean at the attic had it finished. I mean, not I don't know that she did it. Somebody else might have stitched it. I have no idea. But she had the finished one. And I went, you know, I own that. Get back to it. So, that being said, I started right here. And I stitched all that this week. Because there's a few color changes. I mean, it's not... It's not the mandala, mandala, however you say that word. But it has enough color changes in it. But this is the top. So, yeah, I have to go back. There's a little something going on right here. Not real sure. So I was just trying to get that edge up so that I can come across and do that part. But, yeah, I think it'll be fine. And there's no, what do you call it? Well, the borders, there's no border border to the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? Each one of these pictures has a border, but this is kind of the border, and this is kind of the border on this side, and then you got this going on on the bottom. So, yeah. But it's a nice, big, easy pattern to read. I love her patterns. Yeah. I have not bought Let Freedom Ring because... You know how I hate... I don't hate. I just don't care for houses. But that building ain't ever happening in this lifetime. But, uh, yeah. No. So, I thought this, it has... That's what I like about her, her patterns. Layla's patterns. It's diversified. It You don't get stuck doing an entire alphabet. Like, like the Bristols. I can only do it, like, every half an... You know. Maybe a couple hours, you know, or maybe a page. I just have to pace myself because otherwise it's like, ugh, I'm done. I can't. So, I don't want to get sick of it. So, that's why I just do a couple lines on the Bristols. But, the other Bristol, the Louisa Cullimore, has, you know, different motifs. So, this has different motifs. And, I have another one of hers. I think it's called Three Little Words. Don't quote me on that. But it's not the same. There's just always something going on. Something new and something different to stitch. There, whew, went around the horse in the barn on that one, didn't I? You know what I mean. So it keeps you interested. You know, it drives you on. Now, I don't know how far it's going to drive me when I get to all that letter stuff. but Because I'm going to have to... I'll change where it says her name down here to mine and my my place of birth but yeah and it has nothing to do with water 
So, but I just, I just love this pattern. It's just so interesting. Every time you look at it, you see something different. And I think Caroline off the grid is working on this one as well. So it's not going very fast. It's on, this one is on 28 count. I have to read it. 28 count Joblin even weave called China Pearl. And I got it from 123 Stitch. This thing will have to be dry clean by the time I finish it. I don't know why I decided on white, but yeah. Maybe I'll tea dye the whole thing and, and just go for it. I don't know. I don't know. Because I really don't trust them threads. They're not silks, but eh. I don't know. But that has been my little project. I just kind of pick it up and work on a flower. Like last night I couldn't go to sleep, so I got up and I made those two flowers right there. These two. So there's only three more flowers. There's one here, one there. There's another big one like that. And then two little ones. I can finish it up to that part. And then maybe I'll... I don't know. I don't ever want to say, I'm going to work on that the rest of next week. That ain't ever happening. Yeah, we don't make plans like that. Life. Life happens in between. And that, guys, is everything I've worked on. You know, it's just... Mm. So, the giveaway. Uh, well, we'll go to plans first, but I really don't have any. Uh, I I stitch what, what calls to me, what, you know, if I do a review, I do a review. But, um, whatever... I feel like working on. Now I went from the the tablecloth to the 28 count and 28 count it was like I'm stitching on Ada. I'm not making a mistake. I everything went fine. Go figure. But I think I go slow enough on 28 count that I don't make as many mistakes and I can kind of back if I have to back a couple stitches down or something like that. They're not as obvious as they are on Ada. And I think, Ada, okay, well, I can just stitch really, really fast. That's when I get in trouble. So, I don't know what else I'm going to be working on this, this week. So, who knows? It, it'll come. And it always does. It's like, you know, there's that thing. And I have to go look for it. I have to find it. I cannot rest until I find it. It was like... With thy needle, I looked through all this. You, if you could see this, it's a nightmare. But there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine totes laying down here. I could not find that thing. I went through the, all this stuff twice. And then I have all the bags for all the big ones. Yeah, it's great. Giveaway time before we find another sparkly squirrel. So this week. I am giving away the tulip, and it's from Sunphase, S-U-N-F-A-Y-S-S. -S -S. It's so pretty, and I know it's springy, but bear with me, okay? I want somebody to get it to be able to stitch it before spring hits, because, you know, we're going into winter. But I don't know if you stitch like me. It might take you that long. Okay, it's 26 by 26, so it's not much bigger than this whole thing right here. It might be, like, squared off. Or All right, so I put everybody's name in here. Let's see. Put the lid down. And pick a name. All right, I got it in my hand. Putting the lid on the pieces. Because, yeah. Come on. Really? So the winner of the tulips is... Drumroll. Marsha D. So Marsha, my email address is in the description box below. If you can call me, or call me, if you can email me, your shipping address, I will get this out as soon as I receive that. So, I'm planning on going to the post office tomorrow because, you know, we're having withdrawals because they were closed on Monday. 
and Sunday because we had a holiday. So I'm putting Marsha's name into here. It's in there. And we'll put it right back there. So, what is for next week? I got this from, who else? But Biggest Craft. I have to figure it out. I have to see where it goes. This is a pretty little stitching, and I know I will never get to it. It is an 11 count. Comes with instructions. Comes with beautiful threads. It is if I can get it unwound. Just gorgeous, gorgeous threads. Mm. It'll turn it around. Just beautiful threads. So I'm going to wrap it easily and nicely so it'll all lay down. And the picture. Oh, heck. Well, I'm going to have to show you this one. Is the one of the birds. I'll be way back here. The birds on the trees with a little snow on the little berries. And as you can see, it's not very big. Not very big at all, does it say? It says 11 count, use three strands. It's 153 by 109, but it doesn't, doesn't say. But it does have this nice pattern. I can show it again. But it's just gorgeous and has a little house back here and the snow and the beautiful birds in the front. So if you would like to stitch this, put the word berries or berry in the comment section below. I'm not going to go and put that back in there. That won't happen. Oh, is there? No. No, there's no other picture. But it's gorgeous. It'll be gorgeous. And you can kind of see from the pattern. I'm just going to lay that lightly there so it doesn't crinkle, crinkle, bingle. Put the word berries in the comment section below. Tell me what your favorite berries are. If you don't like berries, say, I don't like berries. And I will draw a name for that one next week. And if Marsha D. can get a hold of me through my email address and give me her address, I will send that out as soon as I receive it, if at all possible, Thursday. The only plans we have this week is Thursday that the furnace guy is coming again. You know, people are starting to talk. Anyway, just kidding. I swear, he's been at my house every week for the past month. Working on my furnace. In one way or another. So he's coming on Thursday, so Thursday is blocked out. But I have tomorrow off because I only have to work today. I got five days off. I have no idea what we're going to be working on. Anyway, Marsha D., email me. If you want berries, put berries in the comment section below, and we'll go from there, and we'll see what next week brings, okay? Hopefully, you know, once he finishes this, I can be more focused. I feel unfocused and like I'm not, I don't have a rhythm. Does that make sense? And then I had to work on Saturday, and then I have an extra day off this week. It's it's hard to imagine. We're going to have a better week next week. It's not a bad week, and it wasn't a bad week. It's just, I just couldn't get on track at any point. So, we'll see from there. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We will see you tomorrow. Oh, by the way, before I forget, there will be a live on Saturday, 2 o'clock Mountain Time. We'll see you there. God bless. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.